Welcome back. When you think of the many people involved in your children's education, from teachers to principals, they're probably what come to mind. But today we're showing appreciation to the many faces that you don't get to see every day who have a major impact on school districts all across our state. And joining me right now is Patrice McCarthy. She is the executive director and council general of the Connecticut Association of Boards of Education. Patrice, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Now, what a lot of people don't know, it's important to highlight as this is uh, the month of appreciation that Connecticut's board members, education members, it is completely volunteer. They are, and that's very I think unusual. Most people do not know that. There are 1,400 volunteer school board members in Connecticut. They are actually the largest group of local elected officials in our state. Mm -hmm. And how are we hoping to honor them this month? Well, boards in their communities are doing appreciation receptions. There, we have launched a social media campaign to get that information out to the public at large, because not only should we honor our existing board members, but we also need to be looking to encourage people to consider serving on their local or regional board of education. Yeah, break down for viewers exactly what goes into being a board of ed member. Well, it's a multitude of responsibilities. Their, their primary responsibility is adopting the budget and the policies that are implemented in lo each local school district are adopted by their board of education. The other very important responsibility they have is hiring the superintendent. That's the one employee mm -hmm. that the Board of Education supervises. Mm -hmm. And it is important to recognize that so many hours, and again, volunteer hours, go into these responsibilities. Not only what they do at the local level, but then they engage in professional development. Mm -hmm. And some of them go on to serve with our association as leaders at the state level. Mm -hmm. And what's being done at the Capitol this week to recognize them? Well, this week, Wednesday, will be Day on the Hill for the Connecticut Association of Boards of Education. We will both honor board members, but we will also be lobbying our legislators. So they'll have briefing sessions on the key issues, and then they'll go over to the legislative office building to have those conversations with their legislators, to talk about funding issues, to talk about the need to exercise restraint when the legislature is considering new mandates, and to make sure that there are the supports for the social and emotional needs of our students. Mm -hmm. It is a huge job, it really is. What can people in the communities do to recognize them? They could send an email to the board members. Mm -hmm. they, they all have email addresses on the local district right, website. Public. They could attend a Board of Education meeting and during public participation just say, thank you. Thank you for what you are doing for our community. You are really demonstrating a how our democracy works beginning at the local level. Mm -hmm. It is so important. Patrice, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. It's great for people to be aware of all of these things and the responsibilities and the fact that we should appreciate them and thank them. Absolutely. It is a big job. Very important. Matt, over to you. I love that. I what, know, what right? What a great, great segment. And it's again, an important reminder that it is completely volunteer. Yeah, and it's you know what? It's a lot I, of work. And it takes so many people, the yeah. village, to make sure that your kids are getting uh, what they need as, as uh, they get raised here in, in a fantastic state. So uh, good, good, 